Welcome to the second event of the CXBL Elite Matches here at Flag Raiders Paintball. Your event recap is made possible by BuyPBL.com, Canada's largest paintball supplier. Uh, going into this match, we, just, we didn't have a chance to practice the field. Um, we talked about just playing smart, playing tight, uh, and staying alive in the first 20 to 30 seconds, finding the bodies and working together as a team. Which uh, the nice thing is with having a, a competent <laughs> pit, those guys can talk to you and tell you what's going on. So all you got to do is be a little patient, listen to them, and then relay that to the guys in the field. Heat's a strong team coming in from the States. Um, you know, their, their lanes were on. Ours were on clearly as well. We were getting G's off the break, but they had those same lanes down. I don't know how. Um, you know, just major difference was uh, on-field on field experience, on-field awareness. Some guys played a little cautious, I played a little cautious, didn't really want to make any big moves. Um, there were some guys that made some big moves, yeah, yeah in particular, you're shooting like everybody. But um, that kind of worked, just shooting the guys in the break and then taking it slow, finding the bodies and then working together to, to, to get those guys out. Well, the biggest thing is uh, we need a win. Um, you know, we need to guarantee a spot in the Knacks. I think once Knacks comes around, it's anybody's game. Um, you know, you can... Nax is really when uh, all the uh, upsets come, really. You know, I mean, that's what we're aiming for. We're aiming for a spot in Nax and just start upsetting people. Well, going into Nax, before we get there, we gotta, we got to finish out our two games this weekend, uh, win those, and then going into Nax, it's, it's treated like any other tournament, like the PSP or playing any other CXBL event. Almost all of our guys from last year and uh, the year before have been there before playing the Nax, and, you know, we kind of know what to do. Just It's been good. We've, uh, I feel like we've been playing sloppy the past two events. We definitely got to tighten up for Nax. Uh, we haven't been playing the paintball that we can play. New awesome change, we did lose Nate Schrader to the Ironmen, but uh, obviously we don't need him. Uh, for the game plan, we, we just wanted to play smart and, uh, and get out wide. Uh, it didn't really go that well in the beginning. Uh, we were playing kind of sloppy, getting shot out of our bunkers and losing on the snake side. Uh, we smartened it up a little bit, uh, stayed in our bunkers alive and just shot our lanes and rolled our guns. We lost a lot of players. like three, four days before, like the Wolfpack guys bailed, a few other guys quit once they found out. So we kind of just got screwed and threw a few people together last minute and it kind of showed, but those two majors, like the game was such a, it, was, it felt to a close game at the beginning and then we took those two majors like back to back and that just killed us. We kept like the Sally, like the far up uh, tower on the snake side, kept chopping us D side down and we couldn't counter that and then they just go A pretty much every point. And we just we couldn't figure a way to counter that, so we got to work that out for the next game. Uh, basically, what we're talking about right now is just. Well, first of all, winning matches, and then we really want to run up the, the score as much as we can so we can try to get that bye going on in the finals. In their face, make them hurt, and uh, really take it to them. We seemed to have that pretty good the first half. I mean, we had those four points. Uh, we were ahead for a little bit. Yeah, it was real close to the beginning. I mean, there was a couple of points where we were going back and forth. We got up to about four, back, four points back and forth, so it was 4-4, four, four, and then we kind of took off with it. But mainly we were just struggling with getting into it, you know, First match of the, the event, just warming up, getting fresh, getting loose. Then we started to, we tried to slow it down a little bit because we were starting getting clipped on our moves and we decided to let them come into our lanes. But unfortunately, we're more, an aggressive, we're more of an aggressive team and we have a hard time sitting back and waiting. I mean, even though we've already, most of us have practiced it for a whole weekend, we're still always looking for those new shots, those new things that we can do. So we're trying to watch other players and pick up off them what they find. We've gotta, gotta come together as a team and really find, find our zone, like we have a, our main problem with Daytona is that first, the first five minutes of every game, we seem to not just, just not have it. This game started off good, and then the second half, it seemed like it was kind of like our first half for most games. We kind of stepped on our own dicks and weren't able to recover from it. I've got a broken glass, memories, coffee.
Uh, well, we're missing a few uh, guys, one of our lines this event. Um, a lot of guys, I think, underestimate recon, but no matter how they look in the standings, every year they give us a tough game. And today we barely, barely came back for a tie. Uh, so hats off to them. It was probably easily our toughest match this year so far. I mean, we, we, had, uh, we had them on their heels for the majority of the match. I mean, they're a good group of guys, great payball players. And they just kept on battling back. But they seem to be beating us off the break at the start, getting to their bunkers a little faster, uh, holding the lanes a little better. And honestly, all the po a lot of the points were pretty close up until the last few Gs, and then you know they came ahead. We brought on uh, Ron Guy to coach, and he's done a phenomenal job. And he's uh, been able to turn our pits around a little bit and, and help out. I don't have the time to be a player and try to organize stuff. It's, it's extremely difficult. And this just goes to show every team, whether you're top standing, bottom standing, everybody's here to play. I'm confident in, in the guys. Uh, we have a great squad, uh, and I'm confident we'll come out with a win tomorrow. And uh, Nax is a whole new ball game. That's a whole new season. Our snake push was, was working, but uh, I mean, as, as, as soon as they would shut down one or two guys, it, they would just slow, slow pace the game and win it. Uh, well, going in, we didn't want to underestimate anyone, especially Fredericton. We knew they only had six guys. Practice, definitely. We're just missing this one bit, just this extra guy at the end to close it and make it a two-on-one instead of a one-on-one -on -one and actually winning points. Um, well, obviously we're looking out for aggression, and we're also looking out for lockdown because they'll probably have Nate back from Iron Man, and he's a big presence on the Dorito side. So, pretty much lockdown and aggression. That's who we're looking at right now. playing with uh, the best paintball players in all of Canada, plus uh, a lot of the top pro players. This CXBL seems to be like a second pro league now. It's super competitive across the board, really no teams or pushovers anymore. They're, they're a fast athletic team. So uh, coming into the game, we figured we would just kind of lock up and outsit them and contain. And when it turned out, they didn't really want to go wide and give us places to break shoot. Um, and they were basically staying in the center pocket of like the first bunker out on each way and then multiple guys doubled up in the middle. We just decided to start uh, center punching them. Um, we, we know we're at the bottom. Technically that was the game that we had to win. I think the fire's burning. I think we, now that we know what to do, I think we're gonna uh, come out a fresh team tomorrow in our, first, our next two games. And uh, you know, hopefully we just get one of them and move on into finals. That's it for Saturday's matches. Be sure to tune in to paintballaccess.com for Sunday's games and to find out who advances to the Richmond Cup Finals. Be sure to like ByPBL on Facebook for more pictures and videos.